Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is a review of the uh, HR, company is named HR, SH5HD. Now the SH5HD looks like a quadcopter I recently reviewed, but it's not. The S10. Uh, the S10 had problems. Uh, the S10 had high pitch propellers, uh, a lot of vibration. This SH5HD uh, is supposedly a better quadcopter. It has 720p uh, camera, although it's being advertised as 1080p, I don't know why. It's really a 720p camera. The one, at least the one I got is 720p. Uh, notice this camera is on uh, these anti-vibration balls, holding it there, to hopefully to reduce vibration. Those didn't work very well with that high pitch propeller quadcopter, but this one here is low pitch, so hopefully it'll work much better. Notice this also has an SD card slot. Do not put an SD card in there. There is no SD card reader in there. You put an SD card in there, it'll slide in, and then you're gonna have to open up this camera to get back at it again. It is a Wi-Fi FPV flyer, as you can tell, via this uh, Wi-Fi antenna, and it is powered by a 750 milliamp hour uh, CMAX 5C battery with white low C connector. You can use CMAX 5C batteries in this, so you can find replacement easily find replacement batteries for this. Um, other than that, again, I want to mention this has does not have those high pitch props. This has lower pitch props. They're going to spin faster uh, to get the same lip lift as the high speed props but they're going to vibrate much less okay they're not chomping at the air like those high pitch props were on the s10 let's go over the controller real quick this is the controller for the sh5 hd uh, basic uh, quadcopter controller this is your rates button this button here turns off lights it does not mention this having a flip capability and i don't believe this does have a flip capability because i flew it once already and could not get it to flip it mentions camera up and camera down. This is inoperative on this. This quadcopter does not have a lens that moves up and down. You're going to have to manually, manually aim this lens. And in fact, I am going to move this lens slightly downward so we can see uh, the area and not see the propellers in the video. But again, there is no motor on the, this uh, camera for up or down movement. It also mentions this is a photo or video button. This again is inoperative as this camera is a Wi-Fi camera and does not record the SD card. So this button here is inoperative. It does have automatic takeoff and automatic landing, emergency stop, headless mode, and one key return. And remember folks, one key return is not return to home. It simply flies backwards the opposite direction that the quadcopter was pointed when it took off. That's all that does folks. Do not be fooled by advertisements for one key return. Okay, let's uh, fire it up and see how it performs. First off, we turn on the quadcopter. Uh, it's on, our switch is right here. Quadcopter is on. And we turn on the transmitter. And the first thing we want to do is start the motors and then turn off the transmitter. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. So five seconds, the motors will shut down. So rebinding. And we are going to start up the app, connect to the, uh, or actually, connect to the quadcopter's Wi-Fi first, and then start up the app, and then we'll go for a flight. Okay, this is the SHRC app, available on Google Play and iTunes. First thing we're going to do is, we're not controlling it via the app, so we're going to close that eyeball in the upper right corner. Okay, we're controlling it via this. And um, the two buttons at the upper left is for photo and video. Then we got file button, and then the next two buttons or for recording to SD card, and we don't have an SD card, and so we're not gonna worry about those buttons there. The button we wanna record video is the second from the left, and we're activating the video right now, and that's recording directly to my phone. And we're gonna start the motors, and take off by increasing the throttle. It actually looks relatively smooth video. And we're gonna go upwind a bit, and out, and up, and out. <laughs> And actually, I'm going to go over this way here, just in case we lose reception. I want to be able to recover the quadcopter and fly it gently around us. This is India Wells Canyon, folks, where we're flying today. Near Ridgecrest, actually near Inyo Kern, California. <laughs> Isn't that a name? <laughs> but see now good this camera is if it is any good we're going back up wind again pushing forward a little bit more I guess there's a little bit more wind there I'm gonna go at a higher rate too to fight that wind right about there 
And then coming back, coming downwind this time. And we'll let the wind blow it by us. Hello up there. I like my shirt today, folks. <laughs> Going around and around. That's the wind blowing it. And push it forward again. Going back upwind. So it seems to be a reasonable toy quadcopter. I hope the video is recording correctly. We'll find out in post-production. I'm going to plop it there again and let the wind blow it. See, uh, there's Owen's Peak off in the distance there. There's the wind blowing it by us. Coming around, coming around. Nice scenic area to fly. I just flew two other quadcopters here today. Uh, one was the SEMA uh, X8 Pro. I hope that came out nice. And the Seafly Obtain, an interesting quadcopter. Uh, a Mavic clone. This is not a Mavic clone by any means. <laughs> this is just a simple toy grade. Letting the wind blow it by us. Okay, coming back into signal here. We lost signal there for a second, I guess. I'm gonna show it again, the area. Going up there and going back up wind. Remember folks, if you're flying a toy grade, especially a toy grade, Without GPS, especially these Wi-Fi flyers, always fly upwind. Never, never go, let it go downwind. As soon as it gets close to downwind, turn around and go back upwind again. Right about there, I'll plop it, turn the quadcopter around, pointing it back toward me, and there's the wind blowing it by. <laughs> so, Well, it's flying reasonably well. Um, again, that other one that I flew, <laughs> I got a bit. That one was a uh, TRD with something in between the TRD. There, we're getting, okay, that was its range. Range is starting to become an issue here, so we're probably getting low on battery power. Let's bring it in close so you can see it. We'll get a video of, uh, let me take a look. The lights are good. We still got power. That's a Joshua tree there, folks. Going right above the Joshua and out. Going back upwind again. Right about there. Plop it there. Turn it around. Hello up there. <laughs> As it goes by. And turn it around. Coming back into the wind. I'll fly it right over my head. That wind is picking up here. I should have flew earlier today. There was hardly any wind at all when I first got here. But nice scenic area, lights aren't blinking yet, so we still got more flight time. Going back upwind, boy, the wind's getting stronger and stronger. I plop it there, rotating. Hello! <laughs> and the signal is showing up well on this uh, quadcopter. So yeah, this one here seems to be a lot better than the uh, other one that I flew, <laughs> which had problems. <laughs> Mainly vibration problems, severe vibration problems to be exact. Plop it there, stop it, throttle up, blowing by, blowing by. Yeah, I better bring it in and check those lights again because that time should be getting close soon. How's our lights? Still. Saw the light, going out again. We'll do a low pass this time. Staying right about there. I'm going out about there, plopping it. Going by. <laughs> going up, because <laughs> I almost hit that Joshua. And I got a thorn in my shoe right now, my sandals. <laughs> I like sandals, folks, out here in the desert for some reason. But sometimes you can, they can be a problem. <laughs> My light's still good. So let's go down this way. I'm going down low again. Plopping it there. Rotating. <laughs> no hands, Ma. 
<laughs> it's just the wind <laughs> blowing it by. Let's bring it up close. Take a look at it in flight. There it is, fighting the wind. Bumping around in the wind. Actually not bad quadcopter. I'm pressing the dislike button, but again, there, it's, there is no flip on this, unfortunately. Going upwind, upwind, right about there. One more flight by. Let's see what its flight time is. Oh, not, it's going to go right into that. Uh, uh this might be its flight time. Are they blinking? No, they're not blinking. So we still got flight time. Hold on, folks. I want to stop the video and start it again. Just to make sure I got the video. And the wind's dying down. So I can do a nice slow pan. Pushing forward. Going by. Hello. <laughs> nice slow by. Fly by. Not a bad quadcopter if you want video. Do I got any throttle left on it? Lights blinking yet? Not blinking. This time we'll go up higher. I don't know, about 20, 30 up, meters up. I'm only keeping about 30 meters up, folks, because this is a Wi-Fi flyer. And... You know, you can't really go super high elevations with Wi-Fi or super distances either. You got to keep them relatively close. Pushing forward and pushing forward. We're out of power, I think. And that's it. Emergency stop. That's our flight time. Let's, let me stop the video. Folks, do you see any rattlesnakes in that bush? Hope not. <laughs> so. Actually, I'm flying here. I can't come up here in the summertime. Uh, just way too many rattlesnakes in the summer, but this time of year, it's okay. It's safe. <laughs> so, that's the SH-5 uh, HD. Actually, not a bad little quadcopter. I kind of like it. I hope you did too. This is Quadcopter 101. Signing out. <laughs>